Here on the western flanks of the beautiful volcanic island of La Palma, deep in the Atlantic, is a path so steep that it actually has catch netting on it to prevent walkers from falling into the sea. The upper reaches, however, have no such safety, so get it wrong there, and you're going to be tumbling pretty much like a free diver of Acapulco, except probably less elegantly. Said to be the steepest island in the world, La Palma, a volcanic ocean island, is home to one of the world's most important astronomical observatories. We, on the other hand, have our eyes firmly focused on the ground for an attempt at one of the world's steepest tracks. This fearsome climb is located close to the port of Tazacote, which only just escaped the wrath of the volcanic eruption in 2021. And as the town wakes up to yet another glorious day of sunshine, we head towards the face of this notorious cliff path. Over a thousand metres vertical on an incline unknown, comprising gruelling rock steps, perplexing corners, a complex puzzle of huge physicality. Risk of death, high. And it's our great pleasure to have been invited by Bosch to explore this fine art stroke science of climbing. I'm also joined by a world-class trials rider. Stefan Schlie is several times runner-up in the World Cycle Trials Championships and the first person to conquer the mighty Zugspitz on a mountain bike. A handy guy to have around then in times of trouble. Both me and Stefan are riding Mondrager crafty bikes for this attempt, 150 mil travel, equipped with the Bosch motor. Now all drive units have different characteristics which need tuning into to get the most out of them. But the ability to tackle and conquer technical climbs is a mix of rider skill and using your drive unit to its maximum potential. Whilst it's our aim to conquer this beast today, I want to give you guys some insight into just how the Bosch motor works. But I'll turn. There we go. <laughs> Bear in mind that all the other details need to be in place, such as the tyres and your suspension, and wait for it, your technique. Oh, I'm in EMTB mode, trying to stab Stefan. Stefan's clean. Oh, this is getting brutal. As temperatures hit record levels, the gradient cranked up in front of us, the netting ever present as a reminder of the dangers. Really pretty brutal. No question, this steep climbs, only EMTB and turbo make sense. Bear in mind, the Stefan is 75 kilos. I'm 95. I hope you guys are enjoying the views of the Atlantic in the background because all we can see is black rock and catch netting. Oh, had a bit of Stefan Schlie trials. Look at the steepness of that. The panic is a real thing. Is get things wrong, you've got cliff. I've no doubt about it. Just pulling, really pulling on my calves, my thighs. <sighs> yeah, it feels nervous. I mean, that, can you see that is like literally, that's literally cliff. That is literally cliff. You wouldn't say it. That, oh, there's sand, volcanic ash. Oh, this is the most hideous climb. Oh my God. I've ever done. 
Stefan, time for a breather. Now, the Bosch system has a very unique feature called EMTB mode or automatic mode. But within that, there's a characteristic feature called extended boost. Now, can you explain to me what it is? Because I think it's sometimes misunderstood. Uh, the extended boost is a very special feature. Uh, it neutralizes the weight of the bike, actually. You don't need a full pedal stroke uh, to, get the, to get the assistance. Just a partial uh, pedal stroke is enough. But depending on the, the angle and the pressure that you give on the pedal, it determines how much boost you get. Right. Simple. So actually, in a situation like this, where there's big chunky ground, and you might not be able to get that full rotation of the crank, it's a cool feature, right? Yeah, it's not only a cool feature, it really helps you and uh, it's, it, it uh, decides if you can do a section or not. Without the extended boost, you have no chance to go up here. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> we make slow progress, the heart rate and anxiety levels rising, slowly running out of gears, a snap chain or mistake here, and it's very simple, game over. So what's worrying me is that I'm gonna go wide where he's going, because he can corner better than I can. You can see here, there's like that ridge, oh sorry, cliff edge. So the technique is to go wide. Oh my, you see how he bounces? Oh, I just made it, I just made it. Now I'm breathing hard. Now I'm breathing hard. Sitting down. Sitting down. Steppy ground. Oh. Oh. Here we go. I'll turn. You're going to kind of anticipate this ground as you're climbing. Oh. Turning on lumpy ground is really tricky because the wheels can get wedged. Keep going. As we summit one of the most involved and challenging climbs in the world, we'd had to draw on a huge amount of skills and knowledge. The constant rise and fall of the saddle height, ever shifting body position, changing gears and using the EMTB mode to enable the complex rocks and skin tight corners to be possible. And all making sure to hit the lines and make no mistakes, the consequences of which you've probably got the idea of. I can't go any further. I'm done. A lesson was learned and reasons why Stefan was still so composed. Whilst his total control of the bike was admirable, it was his very deep understanding of how the motor works, his clever use of EMTB mode at the right times that all come together to conquer such a climb. Well, folks, yes, we did walk away from it and we had our serrano ham and anchovies and guacamole. And what was that? What was that bread called? The bread of garlic bread, the pan con ajo. Pan con ajo. <laughs> but Stefan, what we probably didn't touch on on that climb was such things as tyre, tyre pressure, suspension, suspension setup. But the fundamental part of the climb is the interaction between you and the motor, yeah. right? And the modes. Like, you know, we said, guys, that we use pretty much the MTB and Turbo. But um, I think that's a pretty much a full on EMTB climb. Absolutely. I mean, uh, you cannot get a better climb for, for, for an e mountain bike, actually. Technical, spectacular, adventure style. And dangerous. And, da and dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, did it, did it cross your mind at any point that, you know, if you'd made a mistake, it's game over? No, I'm not thinking about that. <laughs> I'm not thinking about that. That would be that would be the, that would be the mistake itself to think to, to think about that. And that is why, folks, is that Stefan actually cleaned the climb, and I fumbled around and made mistakes all the way up it. So, you know, rider skill and confidence is is huge, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, uh, both are factors that are super, super, super important. Mm -hmm. You have to you have to believe in yourself, man. <laughs> Uh, but guys, uh, Bosch uh, motor, 85 newton meters. You've got the four modes. Like I said, we use EMTB and turbo. So it was definitely an eye opener for me to be with Stefan, who was actually a, was with Bosch from the beginning uh, of of their production of their motor, right? And you, you've been in the process of how the motor works and the software. Yep. And it is it is fundamentally different to some of the other motors out there. And I think to use that extended boost, which we talked about, is a key part of it, isn't it? Yeah. Because the target was always the supernatural riding feeling and that 
the motor is doing what your body wants to uh, extend actually. So uh, the natural riding feeling is, uh, is, 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 is the target and every, everything needs to work instantaneous. I mean, if your foot is telling something to the motor, the motor must react in a certain yeah, way yeah. and this is what we did. And this is what you can use there because you can trust if you do something, the motor will do something and there's no delay with, with, with nothing. <laughs> there's no room for delay. No, no, not at all. <laughs> uh, but folks, if you enjoyed this, uh, please keep tuned because we've got an amazing video coming which is arrived, me and Stefan, from the caldera at two and a half thousand meters. Yeah. I mean, that's just a taster, isn't it? That's like an appetizer, really. Yeah. Nevertheless, quite an extreme one. It's probably one of the scariest climbs I've ever done for Depanet. Uh, I'm really glad there's some grip there. Stefan, thanks so much for bringing us out here to La Palma. Uh, thanks to Bosch for inviting us as well. And uh, can't wait for our next climb. Me in, too. In the mud. In the mud? <laughs> no, not in the mud. <laughs>